Good morning, good morning. Today is January 17th and I have a lot of cleaning to do. Um, just kind of a lot of little small here and there things and um, like dusting and cleaning down, wiping down some surfaces. And that is on the agenda today. Let's do this. All right, so as per usual, the first thing that I'm gonna start with my cleaning that I always do is start a load of laundry and switch over if anything is in the washer, put it in the dryer. That way, while I'm cleaning, it is doing its job versus if I just do that last, then I have to wait and wait and wait. So, yeah. put this hair up. I am so hot, but if I take off my long sleeve shirt, this is a shirt that I don't care about anymore because I don't work at this place anymore, um, I'll get cold. So, I'm just gonna put my hair up and keep on checking. All right, so I have my hair up, and now I'm moving. So I moved from one part of the room this way, so I'm gonna work on the dining room next. dining room is all clean now it literally is just our table and chairs uh, I'm halfway into the minimalist style but I still have a lot of crap so <laughs> it's just put away so now it's on to this nastiness first thing I'm gonna do is load the dishwasher with dirty dishes so while I'm cleaning up the rest of the kitchen that's going Side note, does anybody else hate how their significant other does the dishes or loads the dishwasher because it's just not the same way that you load the dishwasher? I mean, it's just like literally all over the place. There's no rhyme or reason. He just shoved things in there. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate that he does the dishes. I really do. And when he does it, I don't say anything. <laughs> but when it's not ran and I have to open it and put other things in it, it just drives my OCD nuts. So I'm gonna work on these dishes. I'm going to charge my battery real quick because my battery is dying. And hopefully by the time I get done with this kitchen, I can show you a little tour of this and move on to the next room. Hey guys, so it's way later, it's 7.55. I ended up coming home and, not coming home, what am I saying? I'm so tired and I have headache. I ended up deep cleaning the kitchen and that was it. So tomorrow's vlog is going to be a clean with me vlog and nothing else. Like I'm just straight up going to be cleaning. I'm not going to be talking. I'm not going to do anything. I mean, I will talk in between, but I'm really proud of my kitchen. So don't mind the clean dishes and the, um, the vacuum mop thing, but everything else is nice and clean in here. And I did so much work in here, y'all. Like it literally took me two hours, two and a half hours in this kitchen since the last clip that y'all saw. I um, decided that since you guys, you know, weren't able to watch me clean the rest of the house, I was just gonna deep clean the kitchen. So I did the dishes and then I worked on cleaning the countertops and then I got on my hands and knees and scrubbed my baseboards. Um, that's, you know, I think baseboards are very much neglected 
people just don't really think about it and I think this is the first year that my baseboards have been that bad um, I'm just I don't know I I was like oh, okay these baseboards are really killing me so I cleaned those and they look nice and white again <laughs> yay um, I cleaned out Mr. Bun Bun's cage. It was very much needed. I scrubbed it with um, Dawn dish soap, gave him some French, fresh food and vegetables, and fresh water. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do for dinner. I don't know if I'm just going to go get something real quick while the rest of them are sleeping. And then wake them all up when we get back. But literally, we came home. Jake got off work, and he got here at like 4 o'clock. And then we literally just took a nap since then. And it's really bad because it's 7.55 now. But I mean, I've been up for the last hour because I've been watching um, Joey Graceffa. I don't know if you guys know about him, but I'll link his channel down below. He's, um, I've been watching him for a couple of years now. I'm, I'm really, I really like his channel. So, yep, yep. Oh, let me show you guys what the girls what the girls did to their room it's not bad it's just it's kind of cute but kind of like oh no how did you guys do this it's gonna be dark so I'm gonna turn on this light how cute it was there and they put it there why so cute though It's so cute though. Like their sisterly love is really cute. Like sometimes they can get on each other's nerves and they fight like typical siblings and, but at the end of the day, they love each other. So update on, I don't think I told you guys, another thing that I was working on was when we first got our puppy, she kind of chewed at the corner of the cabinets, which was a really bad idea and was our fault because when she was a puppy, we should have caged her, but we didn't. Um, we just kind of let her free roam in the, in the kitchen because, you know, if she messed, we would easily be able to clean it up. But didn't think about her chewing on her cabinets. And literally the first week we had her, she did that. So I'm going to show you guys what I did today as well in the kitchen. So I this is the corner that she chewed up. And um, it kind of looks black like at night but in the sunlight it kind of has a purplish tint so I went with um, this Bombay mahogany kind and I know it's not like it's not gonna come out glossy she chewed it down to the raw wood underneath it versus the fine wood that they use on top of here but um, maybe a few more coats will help it get a little bit darker but from afar, like when you're standing up here, you can't see it versus when it was chewed, it was that raw wood color. So, yep. And then I have another corner over there. So there's Mr. Bun Buns, just chilling. But I mean, I love my kitchen when it's practically bare. Like it's, it's just so pleasing to the eye. Um, I'll never be a minimalist, um, ever, but I try to do my best to eliminate clutter when I can, and the things that I do hold on to, I try to have it at home. So that is my goal for our next house, is to be more organized. Um, I think it'll just help with my anxiety, because when um, my house is cluttered or messy or anything like that, and I just can't find things, I can't think properly like I just get really overwhelmed oh so back to that you see what I'm saying like you can't really see that it's down there I mean you can because I notice it and I know that it's there but you can at the same time and excuse that that's my little like I don't want to there was just like a little few things and I don't want to put it in our clean trash bag and let it stink so let's just go in there and then go on into the big black trash bag so yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on the progress of the kitchen since this afternoon. Um, I really wasn't feeling good. I had a I had a massive headache, and I still do. 
So I think that's probably because I haven't had anything to eat all day. But anyways, I'm gonna go ask Jake what he wants to do for dinner and then I'll probably end up going to go get it while he stays here with the girls. We'll see. All right, so I decided that I'm gonna go and get food. I'm not even gonna wake all this fur. <laughs> not even gonna wake Jake up. It is currently 14 degrees outside. And can I just show you guys how exactly cold it is inside of my car right now? So that is a piece of ice that has been sitting in here for mm, two days now, yeah, I think. Um, It's freezing. So let's hope that I don't hit some I'm ice. Back home now. I just went and picked us up some Zaxby's. So I'm gonna wake up the kids and the husband and we're gonna eat. So since the vlog was so short today on my behalf, um, we're gonna do another impromptu little challenge kind of thing. Look at Miss Dixie just poking through there. Wait. Satellite ears. Oh, here comes Misha. Good stuff. Meet me. Oh. Uh. There's Jake. Always with that grumpy face. He always looks grumpy, y'all. He always looks like he's either got a poop or he's grumpy. He always looks grumpy, y'all. Ouch. All right. I'm going to set y'all up. She's always saying ouch, y'all. Because oh he's hurting me all the time. What is my favorite holiday? Halloween. Yeah, I have to say I actually like Halloween a little bit more than Christmas. Yep. Because she's evil. Now, what's the one type of food I can never get sick of eating? Chips. Who is my closest family member? Aunt Renee. Mm. She's close. Jennifer. Yeah. Would I rather be by the lake or the ocean? The lake. Yep. Hmm. What's my all-time favorite TV show? Like on Netflix or on regular TV? On regular TV. Don't hit the table. Family Feud. Yeah. <laughs> I love to laugh. What spice or herb can I not stand? Kanye Pepper. Yeah. Kanye Pepper. <laughs> went with it and then I was Cayenne like <laughs> pepper. what is my favorite restaurant you don't have one and if you do you've never told me because y'all literally growing up would eat and try anything so if you want me to be honest it's your nanny's house <laughs> but seriously like his parents are proud supporters of like the mom and pop restaurants true story where is the one place i would move to the philippines what's my favorite holiday the fourth of july you like the fireworks yeah Corey doesn't like the fireworks so much but yeah i like fireworks <laughs> what's my favorite dessert oh you don't like sweets too much nailed it i don't do desserts but if I had to choose something, you would eat banana pudding. Oh, uh, you're right. Okay, I'm going to ask this question. And if you don't get this answer, Tanner's going to be really upset. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure Tanner knows to answer this question if he thinks about it good enough. So you Tanner, better, if you're watching. You better get this question right. You probably know my husband better than I do. <laughs> What's my all-time favorite movie? The Little Rascals. Yeah. Is it an favorite. older movie or a recent movie? It's an old movie. Smokey and the Bandit? Yes! <laughs> Jesus. Tanner, if you knew that, comment down below and let me know if you knew that before I even answered it. Because if you did, I will buy you a cupcake. But you only have to, you have to comment down below. What is one thing... <laughs> <laughs> that cheers me up when I'm sad. I am not saying this on camera. I don't know. Music. That's probably the best one. Yeah. I was thinking boobs, but... Oh my god! 
What's my favorite book? That's a good one, Jake. Because you don't read. I have a favorite book. <laughs> of Mice and Men, though, I definitely read that whole book a few times. The only book I ever read from front to back. Alright, cool. Well, alright guys, that's all for tonight's vlog. I will see y'all tomorrow. What do you want to say? Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's the wrong lens. <laughs> wrong lens. Say This one right here. She tried to do the crazy little thing. By the way, I won that game. See ya. What wanna be ya? <laughs>